Cutie Bat 88. I'm coming to you guys with a hair review. So if you want to know all about this wig that I'm rocking right now, then definitely stay tuned. Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. I just first want to say that, sorry, I've been really absent from my channel. If you guys didn't know, I am currently very, very pregnant. I am 30 seven weeks so i'm getting to the end here that's why i have been mia um if you saw my last video i kind of announced it there it really wasn't the way i wanted it but i kind of announced it there um as you can see i am humongous yeah with baby number two this is my second girl um <clears throat> it took me like three hours to get ready for this video because i'm moving really slow but I said, hey, you know, I have to go ahead and knock out these videos. So um, let me just get right into it. So I received um, three units from divatress.com. Um, they reached out to me and they wanted me to review some um, wigs. So I had, I had my eye on this one for a while and I just wanted to bring this one to you. Um, wig number one. So this is actually from Bobby Boss. And the name is Celeste or Celesti. I think it's I think it's Celeste. I'm pretty sure. Um, it's a premium synthetic wig, and it's a lace front, and it's by Bobby Boss, like I said. And the number is MLF 200, and this color is 1B. So the model is wearing it in color blue, and it comes with the four by four inch um, parting space. If you saw. And it's premium high heat fiber and it's safe for styling for like heat styling it doesn't say to what degree though and it's a Swiss lace so it's a silk base Swiss um, 4x4 um, closure and let me get into what I like about this wig I do love the parting space um, the parting space is really good I believe this unit is meant to be like a middle part, but you can part it on the left and right sides, which I love. And the parting looks very natural because it is silk based. So I love that. Um, that's the first thing I noticed when I put it on. You can wear it in a flip over that much, maybe like a little right there. But this wig is really, really nice. I like the waves in it. Um, it had a really nice flow to it. Um, I, I love it. It's a great everyday work wig you can dress it up or dress it down really really just depends on your makeup and your accessories and things like that but it could be a really elegant um going out you can really do a lot with this wig um so i really do like it um the cons i've been like i said i wore it like three times so i'm already noticing just a slight tangling um but that's to be expected especially around the nape so just a little bit like like that it's to be expected. It is synthetic. I haven't put any special products on it. I really don't suggest putting a lot of product on synthetic wigs. The less product, the better to me. You just want to have to keep a comb in your purse. Um, as far as shedding, um, I have experienced some. However, it was mainly after I plucked the part. So it may be the hairs coming from the part. Um, the second thing I don't really care for is the layering. I feel like this short layer kind of just stops and it's chopped off and then it goes straight to the long layer so it's kind of like it's choppy like it stops here and then it continues long so if you throw it behind your back you just got this short piece here that kind of looks like a bob um so the layering could have been a little bit better to where it's a smooth transition instead of it just stopping here and then just going straight to long. Um, so, um, yeah, I feel like the pattern doesn't continue all the way through the bottom. Um, the waviness is really heavy here, but then in the back, yeah, so I feel like it's kind of like more of a bob style. If you throw it back like that, it's like it would be more of a bob, but I, I dare not cut into this wig. I think that'll just be a mess, but um, I do feel like it's a cute wig. Um, I do feel like the cap size is a little bit on the small side. Um, when I put it on initially, 
Um, I felt like it was giving me a little bit of a headache. It was kind of squeezing my temples. So when I took it off, I felt like a little bit of relief. So I knew it was kind of small. I did have to readjust the adjustable straps to make them looser. And then it was okay um, after that. So um, another thing, um, I feel like this wig does give you a slight egg shape look if you don't have small braids underneath. So you will have to really braid your hair down. You can't really put your hair in a ponytail or have chunky braids or else it won't lay flat. Um, so I did have to go back and, you know, braid my hair so it can look more realistic. Um, you know, it may give you that humpy look if you don't do that. You may have to get a curling iron and put it on a low setting and kind of just press the hairs down. Um, this wig did do a good job. Like, Normally, some wigs, when you part it and you open it up, the hair is like really humpy, but this one didn't do that. Um, it laid really good when you parted it and combed it, even if you want to wear it to the side. Um, it did really good with laying the hair down flat without any assistance, any water or any heat or anything like that. So, um, um, so I'm just trying to think of some other things. Um, I love the amount of combs in the wig. The more combs, the better to me. Um, it's a total of five, I think. Two on the side, one on the back of the parting, and then one on the in the very nape. Um, I do wear a wig cap to protect my real hair. So when I use the combs, I kind of put the combs through the cap. Um, so I'm not snagging on my real hair, and I never get snagged on my real hair. So the more combs, the better. Um, I just feel like it is very, very secure. It's not going anywhere, okay? Not going anywhere. It's very, very snug. And I love it. I love it like that. It looks more realistic. You don't have to worry about it sliding back. Um, this is a really nice wig. I really do like it. I give it maybe like a 7 out of 10. Um, 7 because of the shedding and the different uh, wave pattern in the back of the hair. I didn't care for, but, you know, I'm going to wear it, throw it on, you know, not have to worry about curling anything. Um and still look cute. You know, I don't feel like it's super shiny. I don't feel like it needs powder or anything like that. Um, I do feel like the 1B is pretty dark, though. The 1B looks like a 1. Um, so I said it does need a little bit of work. Parting, just plucking it, putting some concealer on it, and you're actually good to go. Um, so, yeah, I give, it, I give it a thumbs up. 7 out of 10. If you guys want to check it out, definitely do that. Check out divatress.com. And once again, this wig is Celeste. So thanks for watching, you guys. Hopefully, I'll be back with a review on this one. But I am really busy right now. Like I said, it may be a wig review or it may be a labor story. So I don't know. I only got a few weeks left, um, like two or three. So don't know when she's going to come, but it may be a labor story. So maybe, maybe a wig review, maybe not. So thanks so much for watching, you guys. Definitely check out divatress.com. And um, be uh, tuned in for all updates, okay? Thanks so much for watching. Bye.